Changing Channel Frequency, Squelch. To change the frequency on the current channel, press the frequency key. Then enter characters within that range of 136 to 174 via the front panel keypad. Notice that cursor will move to the second digit in the frequency number because this transceiver transmits frequencies from 138 to 174, the first number is always 1 and is therefore added automatically. When you accept the change, note that the second to last character changed to T. If you wish to make a split channel, you can enter a different frequency at this point. Information is written to memory and the command is completed. Changing the frequency of the guard is the same. Change to Guard, press the Frequency key, and enter the desired frequency. Note the Squelch Mode character. You may now enter the Squelch Mode. The icons show which keys are valid for the edit. I can simply leave my finger on the 9 and step through the available Squelch Modes for a digital channel. Digital Squelch Mode M stands for Monitor Mode and will decode all non-encrypted valid signals received on that channel. The N Mode will decode any signal with the correct NAC or Network Access Code. The G Mode requires that both the Network Access Code and the Talk Group be correct for signals to be decoded. If you are in analog mode when you try and select the squelch parameters, the squelch parameters will change. The digital parameters are not available in analog mode. Note that changing this defaults to X. X is noise squelch. It will open on a sufficiently strong signal. T stands for CTCSS tones. C for DCS codes. Note that the transmit choices are different. We have tones selected and again the up and down arrow keys allow you to step through the available selection of tones. Then we press enter again and the edit is completed.